Biological therapies in breast cancer is really the hot topic these days. Everybody wants to understand the biology of the disease and use targeted treatments to go after that biology. And of course, in breast cancer medicine, we've really been the trendsetters for a long time. We've used anti-estrogen therapies for ER positive or estrogen receptor positive disease, and we've used trastuzumab or Herceptin for HER2 positive disease. So a couple of areas are really emerging as exciting for development of uh, new biologicals. Uh, one we've already alluded to, which is the next generation of anti-HER2 drugs. So because the HER2 marker is such a powerful marker in those tumors, targeting it has proven very effective. So there are drugs like lapatinib, which is marketed as Tycurb, which have already come along. Then there's some very exciting next generation drugs. There's a drug called trastuzumab DM1 or TDM1. It's the same trastuzumab antibody, and they've linked chemically to it a chemotherapy molecule. So it's like the antibody delivers the chemotherapy right to the cancer cell. And that drug has shown exciting activity in refractory HER2 positive breast cancer cases. There's another antibody drug called pertuzumab, which also targets the HER2 protein, but in a different way, and that too has shown activity. And interestingly, if you start to combine these agents, if you give trastuzumab and lapatinib, we're seeing a lot of success giving these two biological therapies at the same time.